our visit to Demna community in Bono State, Nigeria. Documentary report by Diaspora Digital Media, DDM. In the heart of Bono State, Nigeria, lies a community forgotten by the hands of governance and untouched by the waves of civilization, the Demna community. See how rocky and stony the road is? See the front? No motorable road. But we are just hacking it. We are hiking it. Situated approximately 220 kilometers away from the nearest urban center, Bio Army School, reaching Demna is a journey that spans over two hours. The remoteness of the community further isolates its residents, making it challenging to access even basic necessities. The proximity of 45 kilometers to Manjokwa, an area with limited civilization, emphasizes the stark contrast between the two worlds. The inhabitants of Demna cherish their cultural roots, speaking Bura and Lola as their languages.
see their legs and see their much food. Do cow used to pass here? Yes. Oh, the cow also passed here. You can see the the the, uh, the river that stream that following it flows. This is how the cows. This documentary water. aims to shed light on the struggles and resilience of a people okay. living in isolation, facing the absence of governmental okay, presence you. and the challenges it brings. As you can see. This is the water. As you can see, this is the water. And the, it seems that there are some cows that equally drink from the water. As I can see, some cow dogs. As I can see some cow dogs and their legs. But this is the water they do drink as their normal drinking water. No drinking water. This is the one I see. Only me, the one I see, and according to them, let me now ask them some few questions and know their view and what they are intend to do. <laughs> The Demna community, nestled in the vast landscape of Bono State, stands as a testament to the gaps in governance and development. Devoid of a polling unit and political representation, the people find themselves on the margins of society, grappling with the absence of essential services and opportunities. So can you please tell us what they say? Um, I asked them what are they doing and they said that they are fetching water. And I asked them, oh, is it this water that you guys take, take it to home and cook with it and drink? And she said, she said yes. They said, yes, this is water that they used to take and cook and do many things. And I asked them again, there's no other uh, water they used to take and, and, and do their normal activities with it. And they said, no, this is the only water that they used to take. And also, and I asked them, uh, when raining season come, how I used to, uh, I, I didn't normally do or cook with the uh, water. And they said, um, when raining season come, uh, the stream will be full with water. This is how they used to take it, and they'll just go and keep it. When they keep it, then then the the dirty dirty remaining dirty will go down. Then they will now start a uh, cook and take it to drink. Drink. This is how. So now you want to make us understand that they are trying to say that this is the source of drinking water. Yes. This is only the source of drinking water they have in the entire community. Yes. As I can see, all these places, uh, it's like cows used to pass here equally to drink their own water because I can see their legs. I can see their much food. Do cow used to pass here? Yes. Oh, the cow also pass here? Yes. And they drink from here? Yes. And perhaps they piss here? Yes. So You can see the... The, 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 uh, the river that stream that following it flows. This is how the cows used to come and drink the water from it. Okay. You see it from here like this. Okay, thank you. Baba, good evening. Good evening.
Despite their isolation, the community takes pride in preserving its cultural heritage, passing down traditions through generations. Challenges faced. 1. Absence of governance. The most glaring issue confronting them now is the complete absence of government presence. This void results in a lack of essential services, such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure, leaving the community in a perpetual state of neglect. 2. Political isolation. Without a political representative in government, the Dena community lacks a voice to advocate for its needs and aspirations. This isolation further exacerbates their struggle for recognition and support. 3. Economic deprivation. The absence of economic opportunities hampers the community's growth and development. Residents face challenges in sustaining livelihoods, perpetuating a cycle of poverty. Resilience and hope. In the face of adversity, the people of Demna exhibit remarkable resilience. Despite the odds stacked against them, there is a glimmer of hope as the community strives to overcome challenges, seeking ways to bring about positive change. Diaspora Digital Media recognizes the importance of amplifying the voices of communities like Demna. Baba, has government ever noticed about you? Has government ever come to say thank you to you? Kapila, government, the top of the Kapila ga dogo itia. He said, no, nobody come to say thank you unless those that that they bring their sick patient. They are the one that they will appreciate, that, uh, appreciate him and thank him much. Baba, how will you feel if a good hospital is built in the Mina community? How will you feel? Tapula, I will be able to get a clinic, 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 a he will, he will even be the first person to be happy. He will be the, the happiest man on the earth because he suffered a lot. He he got injury and now his legs are not able to walk again. This is what he's working with. This is what he's working with. And he's one that is helping the community with the medicine, be it fever, be it malaria, typhoid, or biting snake. If people got bite by snake, he's the one that is helping them, and he's now got he not he don't have a leg. So if we got a clinic and hospital here, it will be much more better, and he will be the happiest person on the earth. Okay. Mm, we appreciate your time, and we are telling the whole world today that this is our Papa in Demna. He is the medical doctor, the traditional medical doctor of the Mna community and he is specialized in most of these medicines like stone, snake bites, scorpion bites, and fever, malaria, typhoid and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, now he is doing it with his traditional knowledge. He is seeking for help, for the help of government. Let government or NGOs or whoever that feels the sympathy of the people to come and build a clinic, a modern clinic for them. Because him, as you can see, he is old, he can't walk, he can't walk well, he uses crutches. This is the crutches he uses, he uses crutches. Through this documentary, we aim to raise awareness, foster dialogue, and inspire action towards bridging the gaps in governance and providing support to marginalized regions. As we delve into the heart of the Demna community, 
we invite the world to witness the untold stories and hardships faced by its residents. Through awareness and advocacy, we hope to spark positive change and contribute to the building of a more inclusive and equitable society. This documentary report is a collaborative effort by Diaspora Digital Media, dedicated to giving a voice to those whose stories often go unheard. Thank you.